All right, this is our continued series on the oscilloscope. We've been trying to introduce you to the various functions and features of the oscilloscope. Today, uh, we'd like to spend our time primarily on the, uh, uh, the vertical sensitivity. Uh, this is the, these are the functions that uh, control the size or the magnitude of the waveform that you display. In this particular case, we have a uh, part of the uh, calibrate mode. Um, we have a 2.5, 1.2 kilohertz signal, 2.5 volt, 1.2 kilohertz signal. And uh, we're going to look at that. Remember that the, uh, the large knob here controls the sensitivity so that we can display uh, various uh, sizes of the waveform depending on what it is that we want to see. We can adjust the ground level or the zero level. The zero level is indicated by this uh, little designation on the side over here. And we can adjust the zero level and we can adjust it up and down. And you can actually see what voltage you're on such that you bring that down to a zero value. And it's right in the center of the screen. So you have got the uh, zero at the center. That's great for um, symmetrical uh, time varying waveforms that have an equal top and bottom half plus and minus half. And uh, remember that the, uh, the, the scale is given to us right over here in the upper corner. This is reading at one volt per division now. So we have one volt, two volts, two and a half volts. So we have a two and a half volt square wave uh, that goes from the ground level uh, to two and a half volts and back again. All right. So these functions that are controlled here, we press the button number one here, and there's a number of menu items that come up. The first menu item is the one that I want to spend some time on, and that is coupling. Um, when the signal goes in through the channel, uh, it's processed through some circuitry. Uh, DC coupling is what it says here. DC coupling means direct coupled. So everything that's on the waveform, everything that's on the channel, everything that's being put into the front end of the amplifier of the oscilloscope is displayed on the screen. Um, if you switch this to AC coupling, uh, you'll note that the waveform drops. Uh, just trigger that a little bit. So we get our uh, screen back in it. There's my trigger signal across the middle there. We get a nice, clean, cleanly triggered uh, uh, waveform. Uh, so that which is coming into the channel is now AC coupled. The AC coupled, alternate coupling, uh, takes off any DC bias level uh, that may be in the waveform. Let's we'll switch it back to DC again and uh, adjust our triggering so that we get a nice signal. Uh, we can see that the zero voltage line is here. 2.5 is up here. So somewhere on 1.25 is, is, is the average value or the bias level or the DC offset uh, in around 1.25 volts. When we switch to AC coupling, you note that the whole waveform drops by 1.25 volts such that it is symmetrical above and below the zero axis. So we've taken off the DC level, the average value, the bias level. All right. So sometimes that's useful for uh, looking at uh, waveforms that have uh, large DC values and very small AC values. Generally, you do not want to use AC coupling. We'll switch that back to DC coupling. That's the standard mechanism and mode that you want to use generally. All right. So we have some other features over here. Um, normally, this goes from a 1 volt uh, to a 2 volt to a ten, 5 volt, 10, 20, 50, etc. So it's a 1 to 5 sequence. Uh, we can adjust that now by using the fine control. And so we can make that 1.04, 1.08, 1.12. So we have a much more uh, uh, calibrated control over what the sensitivity of the uh, vertical offset is. Take that fine off and it'll switch back to the 1, 2, 5 uh, sequence. All right, so that's the, um, uh, the fine control. Invert does just exactly what you think. It would invert the uh, waveform from a plus to a minus. Um, and so the probe uh, tells you what kind of probe you have in there. Right now we've got a times 10 probe, and that's what this is. So we're reading our voltages correctly. All right. So another little bit of function that you should know about is the math function. When you press the math function, um, you operate on uh, some, you put some sort of functional operation uh, on. And right now, we're in the plus mode. The plus mode can be changed to a minus mode. We can see what it looks like if you subtract two waveforms. 
you can multiply two waveforms. If you take the derivative of two waveforms, if you take the integral of two waveforms, there's an FFT, there's a square root. And so there's a bunch of math functions that are uh, available to you. And uh, you can select uh, what sources uh, you're working with, source one, two, three, four. Uh, you can adjust the scale of the, uh, of the um, you can adjust the scale of the output, which is the sum or product or FFT of the waveforms. And uh, let's just set that back to a reasonable value. All right. And so the math functions are available for you so that if you put a function, uh, maybe a voltage function in channel one and a current function in channel two, you could actually multiply the two together to get a power function. Uh, so there's lots and lots of things that you can do with the features that are available in the vertical sensitivity selection um, area. All right, so that's it for vertical sensitivity. Thanks.